<laughs> Damn it! Did you just stall? Yep. Very well done. I've gotten better than when I first changed it yesterday. When I changed it, I was actually playing ETS 2, I was using the Russian Open Spaces mod. Uh huh. And I was pulling a tank. <laughs> so, my lo just the load was like 50,000 pounds. I think it was actually 55 something. Um, and yeah, every time I tried to pull off, I was stalling it multiple times. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Man, there was one day I was taking my brother to school, and mm. a cop pulled up to a stop sign, turning onto the road I was on ahead of me. Uh -huh. And, you know, lights on and everything. Obviously, oh. I should have slowed down and let him out. I didn't think about it until as I was going past in front of him. I happened to look over and he was like scowling at me. <laughs> I was just like, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Yeah. Uh, just, you son of a bitch. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're good. Oh no! No! I did the same you thing! The... Oh, catch it, catch it, catch it! Nice! That was insane. I actually came to a complete stop and then my truck rolled back over. I legitimately thought you were gonna go over that guardrail. I didn't think I was gonna go over the guardrail, but I definitely also didn't think I was gonna go back onto my wheels. Yeah, right? Still didn't damage my load somehow. These furt bags are pretty, uh, pretty resilient. Huh. I don't know how much damage I already had on the trailer, but I have 30 now. I didn't damage the load either. Nah, I got a little damage on the truck and trailer. I knew I, I think I only added like 1 or 2% damage to the trailer, but I took 7 to the truck. I think the trailer I'm was at 21. I'm pretty sure one of those fertilizer bags would have ripped open from that. I'm fairly that certain the front wall of my trailer would have ripped open when it hit that guardrail post. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's what dragged me to a stop was the roof of the trailer hit a guardrail post. I'm pretty sure, like, all the entire left sides of our truck fucked right now, so... Yeah, I'd be missing a smokestack, my side skirt would be all torn up. I... my bull bar would be fucked, my... Uh, left front tire would be gone, my hood would be screwed, my air cleaner would be gone, my stack would probably be at least bent or damaged. Hey, you hit the- you apparently hit the guardrail a lot harder than I did. I- I, I rolled onto that freaking guardrail pretty hard. Let's just say the whole left side of my truck would be screwed. Like, I think I'd still be able to drive mine away, but it would definitely have some damage to it. I would have been able to drive mine away. I uh, that actually, now thinking about it, I might have snapped my uh, left front tie rod. Well, as opposed to the rear tie rod. Uh, you're thinking of the left outer tie rod. That's what you're thinking of. Because there's the outer and then the inner tie rod. No, I actually feel like the inner will be more likely to snap, the way the steering wheel was turned. Um, no, because the outer one is the one that connects to the actual knuckle, and if it hold the knuckle, it would have ripped the connector for the outer tie rod. Because that's a lot smaller than the air tie rod. Yeah, that's true. Thank the air tie rod. Are they hollow? I, I'm trying to think about how I turned the wheel when I hit the guardrail, because I might have turned into the corner, in which case it would have pushed the wheel in, and that would have snapped the outer tie rod. Yeah. But if you had pulled the wheel out, you would have snapped the outer and the inner. Yeah. Let's just say your whole steering system, both our steering system, would be fucked. I think you probably would have mislocated your entire axle. <laughs> oh, probably. Aye! Look. It was an axle. Oh, I'm running out of lane. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh! Whoa! Saved it, saved it. Going up the embankment. We're good. <laughs> is it still saved? Yep. <laughs> going up the embankment. <laughs> I thought you were going to hit that jersey wall. <laughs> so did I. Speaking of, okay, it ends up here. Good. <laughs> I, didn't get that. I was about to say, I'm not sure if this jersey wall ends anytime soon. <laughs>
And... Boop. There we Oop. go. I'm watching you, not the road. <laughs> yeah, you might want to not do that. Nah, it'll be fine. I know I'm entertaining at all, but... <laughs> It'll be fine. Toothless knows he what he's doing. <laughs> <sighs> oh! My magic orb finally popped out of the cubby. Nice! <laughs> rock, 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 rock. I, I mean, it's hard. It's still interesting to get used to for taking corners and whatnot. But I still love watching the truck bounce around with the new physics. Yeah, I know. It's brilliant. Especially if you're on like a bumpy road. Yeah. Like the farm roads and whatnot. Yeah. Or well, the, no, uh, I was um, in Russia. There were some er roads. in Russia. There were some areas uh, where there was like snow piled up and everything. So it was actually properly bumpy. Oh, really? That was back before they added the bumpy road section that we have now. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool until you suddenly hit a patch of snow doing 70 and your truck tires aren't hit touching the ground anymore. <laughs> oh, shit! What were you driving? This. Oh, really? Yeah, it was before I repainted it, but yeah, I was driving this truck. Uh oh, I was gonna say, if you were driving a Kraz, you'd be fine, but that thing, you would have crushed the radiator. No, actually, probably... it, it was a smooth enough drift. I don't think I would have hit the radiator at all. It would have knocked in the no, bumper. Coming down. Coming down. Oh, it didn't. they didn't go that far off the ground. Oh, okay. Just off the ground enough that I didn't have any traction. Ah. Alright, let's not reenact what I did earlier. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it definitely would have banged in the bumper a little bit. But, beyond that, I don't think it would have actually damaged the truck yet. Fuck. It's just... I basically went from the far right side of the road, because I was taking the effects of a corner, to the very far left edge of the road, and there was a drop-off. Oh, right. And if that was real life, I probably would have shit my pants. No shit! It's just like when I, uh, drove off the mountainside in Oregon yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Many poos have shot out of my eye. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was a brilliant corner. Hello again. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh oh. <laughs> I went to third person. I didn't realize I was coming in on you. That was interesting to watch from my cab. I just see, I just see you cutting straight, and all of a sudden you're. you're Are we getting off here? Uh, yes. All right. Here, you got the room. Come in in front of me. All right. I didn't. I didn't have any wheel uh, hands on the wheel. <laughs> That's slightly important. Well, I w I took my hand off to move my mouse because uh, I was gonna come in behind you. Uh, you had the room. I was already uh, far enough back. Just a little grab on the Jake break and you had to punch. Hmm. Well, when we're not racing and being assholes to each other, I try not to cut you off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I let you in. It's funny, when I made this toothless toy, Mm -hmm. Um, it hangs facing me, because that's right. that's just the way the toy that I replaced, that I used when I made it faced. Uh -huh. So I didn't think about it. Um, after I made it, I was like, you know, I kind of wish he was facing out the windshield. I, oh, but right. I didn't change it. After driving with it a bit, he faces out the windshield just as much as he faces towards me. Fair enough. I'm not sure what the physics does... To know that, like, it's weird, because he never has a wing facing the windshield. It's usually either his tail or his head. <laughs> it's like, what are the physics doing to do that? Because the hitbox isn't right. Uh -huh. You know, it's kind of interesting with this trailer. If I was driving a uh, three-axle Luna, it'd be 
it'd be like the complete reverse of everything because I got the single tire set up in the front, then the three uh, main drive axles. Like it's based the way the axles are. Oh yeah, really your trailer different. would be uh, uh what are the, the reverse? Uh, th there's a word for it. What's it called? Shoot. Uh oh. Par er, mirror. No, the the uh. Shit. I know what you're trying to think of. Uh, uh, this is a tight way. corner, and I didn't shift properly. Oh shit, you're right there. Yeah, I was focusing on my shifting and not on the actual slowing down part. That's slightly important, Zenon. I've been doing such a good job, too. Turn on frickin' OBS and suddenly I can't shift for shit. What is it called? I know it's called something, I can't think of what it is. Ah, uh, that's gonna bother me now! You and me both. Looking it up. Because <laughs> it's a word that I know. I know it's You know, it's a word that I use often. Ah. Yeah, it's like a synonym for mirror. Palindrome. Okay, I did not know that word. <laughs> Technically, a palindrome is actually a word that's spelled the same way forward and backward. Uh, but the definition's been extended in recent years. Oh, okay. So yeah, if you were driving Triax to Luna, your actual setup would be a palindrome. Hmm. We got a traffic circle up here. Oh, fine. It's a big one. We are in America, remember? Got a loan at the bank, it's a big one. Oh, alright, I need to slow down a lot more than I did. It's all good. Got the Jake break. Alright, I'm attempting to blow my nose while driving now. 10 4. So, if I start drifting, that's why. 10 4. Oh, and for anyone who sees it, yes, that red axle is there for a reason. Don't ask. You're probably getting a better view of it than anyone watching my video would. Well, you went into third person at one point. Yeah, but when you're looking straight at the back of the trailer, you're not going to see it. Yeah, you're gonna see it a little bit. Reckon, I don't even have a cold anymore. My nose is... Every once in a while, it's like, oh, you have snot in your nose now. You need to blow it. <laughs> it's like, go away! I'm not sick anymore. Alright, I'm trying to. Not you. <laughs> You wanna get you wanna get straight there, Kiwasabi? Shut up. Hey! I still have a little bit of room left to make to you. Now I don't. Yeah, like an inch and a half. That's still an inch and a half where I wasn't gonna hit. Mm-hmm. I'm getting in front of you if you can drop like that. Closer. Closer. Let me say this trailer. That's a little too close. <laughs> did you actually touch me? My mirror did. I was watching that in my mirror. I feel like uh, if I had a drop deck trailer, your uh, lug nuts would have, would have scraped off on my trailer. Probably. <laughs> uh, grind. Well, depending on what type of lug nuts they are, it wouldn't even be a grind. Like, if they're just covers, it'd just be like, boom, right. because they all pop off. Tink, 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 tink. Yeah. Which, that's all these are. They're just covers. Because good luck getting a freaking socket over those. Yeah, tell me about it. Man, even being covers, those would suck to put on. 
<laughs> yeah, you can't push down on him. You gotta fucking go from the side because if you push down on him, you're freaking stabbing yourself in the hand. Yeah, I mean, putting on lug nut covers that aren't pointy is a pain in the hand. Yeah, right. Oh well. Not my problem, it's a video game! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't ask about the engine in this truck. Uh, should I? Oh, I figured you might be worried that I might try to topple Luna. I didn't. <laughs> you never could. Even if you did, you couldn't. Luna's the original massively horsepowered truck. I don't even know if I would be able to fit four turbos under a soft hood. Yeah, right? I can barely fit four turbos under a long nose. <laughs> Are you heavier than me? Yes, probably. I'm 35.5. 36.9. Oh, you're only slightly heavier than me. Why are you having so much more trouble pulling? Uh, because reasons. Hmm. Anyway, I decided that at some point in the Steel Wheels timeline, Kay's sister Selenite is gonna come and visit the U and is gonna come and visit Equestria. Oh Christ. But it's not really a visit as much as it is just tearing up the truck racing scene. Oh, good. She can take over Sadella's spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, she was, you know, with her sister, she was born in Equestria. Mm -hmm. uh, she moved to Europe only when she turned 16. Right. Um, and she ended up staying over there when she got her CDL because she liked the trucks over there better. Right. She likes cab overs. Um, Her and Zenon will get along very well. Yeah. Now, she actually much prefers Scania, and Zenon doesn't really like Scanias. <laughs> no, he looks all the... <laughs> no, actually, Zenon still prefers Peterbilt's. He likes Volvos, but he prefers Peterbilt's. Whatever you say. It's Challenger that, pr that loves Volvos. Still anyway, um, so, but when she came to the U.S., when she comes to Equestria, she gets a Volvo because they don't sell Scanians over here. Yeah, I'm sure that makes her very happy. Hmm. Um, where the fuck's the Scania dealership? <laughs> there is none. It's Equestria. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they actually did sell Scanias in the U.S. for a very short time in the 80s. Very short time, but they did not sell very well. Yeah, I, I think they lost out to Volvo, so they left the market. Uh, the only time Volvo's done anything right. I mean, they're still around. I'd say they've done doing something right. Say. Like, technically, as far to my knowledge, Volvo is the only truck manufacturer that is the parent company. I'd say that's something done right. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Because Navstar owns Air National and Freightliner. No, Daimler owns Freightliner. Daimler owns Freightliner? Yeah. No, Navstar owns Air National and Mack, that's right. Really? Right? I didn't know Navstar owned Mack. I think they do. I know they own Air National. I know they own International, but I didn't think they own Mack. I thought they own Mack. Hmm. Daimler is Freightliner and Western Star. Yes, I knew that. Um, and then, doesn't Packard own both Peeve and Kenny? Yep. Okay, that's what I mean. No one owns Volvo. Nah, shit. <laughs> no one owns them yet. I don't think that's going to change. Volvo is pretty big. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Fiat bought Chrysler. Really? Yeah, Fiat owns Chrysler. Huh. They also own Ferrari and something else. I knew that Fiat owned Ferrari. Yeah, but no, Fiat bought Chrysler back in like 2014 or 15. Hmm, was not aware. Yeah, which surprised me. I was like, wait, Fiat, that company that like nobody has a car for, owns Chrysler? Yeah, but still, but still, Chrysler was a mostly American market. 
Volvo literally has markets in every corner of the globe for cars and trucks. This is true. I'm just saying, it, it was surprising to hear that Fiat... No, yeah, that's really surprising. I did not know that. Yeah, no, Fiat owns Chrysler, which technically makes Fiat Mopar, but nobody accepts that. <laughs> well, no, it, make, it more makes Mopar Fiat, which people would accept even less. Exactly. Oh, I just got the tiniest little bit of a tap on that wall for my trailer. It was brilliant. Uh, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Uh, yeah. sit this one down more. Oh, no. Taking that card. Taking that jersey wall. Still nothing on the freaking load. Hell yes. Now, I would have completely just told the truck. I didn't. I don't have anything on the load either. Um. I didn't. I, I got like two damage when I hit the guardrail. I then got 25 damage when I dug the nose of the truck into the pavement. Nah. <laughs> so I guess while you head down to Prim, I'm gonna go over to the repair shop and fix my truck and trailer. Fair enough. Whoop. Anyway, what were we originally talking about before we got sidetracked by Volvo? Uh, oh, right, this truck's engine. Yes, that's what we did. So, what it is, is. It's a D16 from Europe. Okay. So it's the big 750 horsepower engine. She then completely stripped it, got a bigger block, and shoved two turbos onto it, and now it just barely makes 1200 horsepower. <laughs> Looks like Rusty got another client. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could just see her walking into steel wheels. All right, where you all go for your horsepower? Because I need more horsepower. No, she actually did all that in Europony and then shipped the engine over to put it in the truck over here. Yeah, all right. I could just see it calling up Kay. Kay, do you know anybody who's good with truck engines for making horsepower? Uh, what do you mean? I'm building an engine. I need much horsepower. <laughs> Hold on, let me go ask Mason. Mason, what? Where you go for horsepower? What do you mean? What do you fucking think I made? What? I tried my. There we go. But yeah, Selenite has a whole crew of equestrians she wants with out there in Europe. That's from an old roleplay. Right. <laughs> Mason, where do you go for horsepower? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? <laughs> Wait, where you... do you mean where do I go to get my engine built? Yes, Sherlock. Oh, Rusty. <laughs> and then she just like, she looks over to like, Rusty? Like Rusty now? Yeah. Rusty? Oh, not not that Rusty. Irish Rusty. Irish Rusty? Give me the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you are, I don't care. Go to Rusty Performance. Click. <laughs> mm, no. There we go. You just hung up on my sister. Oh. Well, good. <laughs> I never liked her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even met her! <laughs> I've heard stories from Z. <laughs> Zanon, what did I do now? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been telling Mason about my sister? Mason! <gasps> Your problem, Z. <laughs> yeah, that you caused! Aren't I the cause of, like, most of your problems? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's so, so sad, but true. Different? So why would this be any different? <laughs> An emotionally draining friendship. Hey, I know why you played that card. <laughs> <laughs> so, interestingly... The only Volvo dealer I have discovered on this profile is up in Oregon. Interesting. I'm fairly certain I didn't buy either of these trucks from Oregon, so I have no clue where they came from. <laughs> <laughs> where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Fucking Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Clip it. Done. That was brilliant. This whole video is probably just going to be clips. Right. Because while we're having a good time, we're not doing anything especially interesting. Yet. 
I mean, we're word, we're behaving word. ourselves. We're having fun with each other. We're not racing. I keep stalling my truck. I keep stalling my truck. <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Come on! I don't usually have this much problem getting into reverse. I must be deliver delivering defective fertilizer because I picked it up from a farm and I delivered it back to a chem plant. <laughs> <laughs> this fertilizer is defective! <laughs> Alright, now I have to reverse the line side. Am I actually making it or is that going to hit that wall? That's going to hit that wall over there. Am I going to hit this wall over here? Yes, I am. Not anymore. Dum ba dum. Ba da ba da ba dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum